As a novelist, I find historical fiction a worthy enterprise. Sourcing my imagination from the African-American past brings me face to face with exciting and unusual characters who I feel we can still learn from. My debut novel, Jam on the Vine, is both a family saga and a coming of age story about a young woman who eventually launches a black newspaper in the Jim Crow Midwest. We meet our heroine, scrappy, book-loving Ivo Williams, when she's nine years old, growing up within the sharecropping community in the fictional town of Little Tunis, Texas, and the Brazos River Valley, where my own roots are seated. I wanted to give Ivo a calling, an aspect of longing crucial to her personality, which she finds in the printed word. She grows up within a loving, protective family, headed by a Muslim mother and a Christian metalsmith father, and augmented by devoted teachers who help her stay the course with her passion. Ivo earns a scholarship to a fictional black all-girls university modeled off of Tillotson University in Austin, Texas. There, almost accidentally, she blooms into an indefatigable journalist, and her passion for women blossoms. Ivo's character was inspired by two black women journalists, Ida B. Wells, famous anti-lynching crusader, and Carlotta Bass, a suffragist who was also the first African-American woman to own and operate her own newspaper, the California Eagle, founded in 1912. Like many African-American families during the Great Migration, the Williams family eventually leave the rural South and head for a northern city for better career opportunities and a safer livelihood. In Kansas City, with the help of her former printing teacher and lover, Ona Durden, Ivo launches her own newspaper, Jam on the Vine, just months before over 30 race riots break out from coast to coast in what would be known as the Red Summer of 1919. As the Vine District's newswoman, Ivo uses her newspaper for racial self-help and as a tool for justice, ferreting out and spelling out Jim Crow's most oppressive tactics, such as Kansas City's vigilante police force and the disproportionate incarceration of African American men. Jam on the Vine is an invitation to experience the changing sameness of African American life. At the same time, the black press voiced a celebration for the spirit of hope and triumph that has always defined the black experience in America. Mm -hmm.